Hello, friends. Uncle Marv here with another episode of the IT Business Podcast, and I am still here in St. Petersburg, Florida at the Super Ops Summit, and we found another person on the Super Ops team. We got him in here chatting a few minutes, and uh, Tamu with uh, Super Ops. How you doing, sir? Very well, thank you. Now, of course, I got to ask uh, your position at Super Ops and how long you've been there, and I know you love the place, but tell us something you may not love. That's a very good question. Um, so, hi everybody, I'm Damo. Uh, I run products here at SuperOps, uh, building an awesome PSA RMM platform, you know, with everything new and beautiful uh, for the MSP of the future. Uh, what's great about the company, and I'm, by the way, I've been doing this for a while, I've run products for almost 20 years in enterprise, so uh, the special thing about how we build product for the MSP is I feel like we're actually contributing to the a real person's growth versus just looking at numbers. Uh, and you can actually see the happiness and, and, and the growth that you don't get to see when you build for just a company, right? So that's, that's the big driving force behind uh, the product here. We try to build for growth and success and profitability. Uh, what is, uh, what was the question? I was gonna ask what you don't like about it because I wanna see if we could surprise anybody. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, very little. Um, uh, you, you know, uh, um, uh, the, the the one thing that I think could be uh, don't like about super <laughs> <laughs> tough man. Now, yeah, yep, I, I hooked you. Yeah. So, so let's do this. Uh, so you said you've been doing uh, DevOps for twenty years. Yep. Uh, how long at SuperOps? Uh, product management for twenty years, and at uh, almost two years. Uh, uh, super ops. Two years. Okay. So in terms of what you were doing before and what you've been doing for the last two, uh, was it all designed in just IT in general? Was it for, you know, IT service companies? And how is that different from what you're doing now at super ops? Excellent question. So uh, most of the work that I've done before this has been in the enterprise space uh, and a little bit of pit market as well, but uh, mainly in the fortune hundreds and thousands where we've worked mainly with IT teams, but also with the businesses, like finance and accounting and uh, other parts of the business. What I think is very interesting about what we can do in SuperOps is we can bring all those ways of building a very you know, scalable and a future-facing product into a space where you know, it starts with an SMB and grow uh, a product in a very uh, scalable way from the beginning itself. We don't have to, you know, we can make a, uh, a product that actually grows from day one. All right. In a very elegant way. Now, is it different to design something for an enterprise company where you're really dealing with, you know, one company at a time versus, I don't know, 1,500 MSPs? Exactly. So, um, you know, the, the way you define prioritization and how you define what to do next, uh, enterprise actually have a handle of what to do because the top 10 enterprises actually define how the market itself adopts a product. Here is, you know, exactly like what it says. It's, it's not just 1,500, it's 150,000 MSPs all having different different sets of requirements. Right. So what we do is segmentation. So we actually try to build for their journey, depending on how small they are, and try to help them become larger and larger and build for them incrementally to grow and become larger MSPs. Okay. Uh, now, I had interviewed Arvin earlier in the day and he said that you guys came in for leadership uh, council meeting. Um, so how long are you guys here? Did you plan yeah. for the weekend? Yes, we did. So uh, we are doing an impromptu trip to Miami, but actually uh, we're here for almost uh, two weeks. Uh, you know, a part of it is the customer advisory board, then the super summit, and then a bunch of customer meetings where we actually, you know, beyond just talking to customers who we invite to boardrooms, we actually want to go see how they actually do their business. So we're mm. actually visiting them and, and learning from them how they actually look at the screens and build, you know, how they actually use not just super ops, but other tools so we can innovate and give them better solutions in the future. All right. Uh, I'm looking out at the audience. One, I, I guess because I'm not a customer, you're not going to swing by my place down in Fort Lauderdale, huh? <laughs> We will, though, at some point. We, <laughs> at some we, point. we do prospects as well. Okay. All right, Tamu. Um, anything else you'd like for the listeners who may not be super ops people? Uh, anything you want to tell them about either coming to a future roadshow or just getting involved with super ops? 
Awesome, yeah. So in, 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 in one thing, you know, I think uh, Arvind mentioned this as well, right? Uh, in Supros, what we strive to do is not just give you a product, right? Uh, our company realized, I mean, realized very quickly that a product is just a tool for you to do your job. What really helps you is actually the community and the marketing behind what you need to do as a uh, business owner using the tool of choice. So I encourage all of you guys to come and join our community first so you can uh, appreciate all the things that SuperOps can offer along with product, the support, and the overall experience. And I think that's the differentiator that we want to bring in the market, uh, which we hope you'll, you'll really like. And I think that's what people have already seen as they're talking about it in between the sessions and stuff. So again, thank you for your time. I know I, I drug you guys away from something, but uh, thank you for sitting down here, sharing your experience, and look forward to seeing you guys in Fort Lauderdale at some point in time. All right? Thanks. Thanks, Marvin.